Gladiator health update. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. That's right. It's time for another Jeep Gladiator health update. Uh, Got to run a couple more errands this morning, so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me, uh, let you know what's going on with the health of my Jeep Gladiator now. Um, I've had a few issues. I've documented those, I think, quite well on the channel. So it's time for a little bit of an update, uh, let you know what's happening. Okay, we're in the Jeep this morning, like I said, gonna uh, run a couple errands. Let me show you the dash right now. Just turned it on so you guys can see. Let's go ahead and hit the auto stop. I always like to turn that off. There's the dash right now. Now, I'll tell you, I did, uh, I did of course, have something happen again this morning. Uh, just in my ongoing saga. It's really not funny, but let's head off to the store and I'll fill you in. Okay, errands are done. Get rid of this thing. Man, I hate wearing those things. I'm sure there isn't really anybody out there who enjoys wearing them, um, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? It's a small thing to ask, in my opinion anyway. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's bring you guys up to date uh, as to what's going on with the Jeep. It's been, I'd say about two weeks uh, since I took it in for the software update. And if you watched the last video I did, then you know that after the last, or the software update, uh, I did indeed have the uh, auto stoplight come on again. And as you saw this morning, uh, it's not come on uh, today, uh, at least not on that trip. I was out earlier this morning and Again, I had a auto stop failure warning. Uh, so it's doing the same thing that it did before. You know, it would go off and then come on and then go off and it was just intermittent. And it seemed like uh, the way to get rid of it is just turn the truck off, restart it and it won't be up until the next time. And it's usually still, it seems about two or three starts before that thing comes back on. Now, what about the check engine light? the more concerning of the two you know to be honest with you if uh if the auto stop system you know just never worked again uh then i'd be okay with that because i'm not a big fan of it anyway right i've mentioned that i don't know how many times so uh if it just stopped working that'd be no big deal the check engine light though is always concerning when you have that come on although i will tell you i've heard uh a few theories recently um, that agree with me, and that is that the auto stop and the check engine light are related, um, and that they really don't indicate anything, uh, that they don't mean anything, because they go off. Someone had told me that they took theirs into the dealership, and uh, they told them to just go home and wait until the check engine light went off, uh, which it did. They said it went off, and then they were to go back in and have the software upgrade done, which they did. So they went back in, they had the upgrade done, and they haven't had, and it's been, I think they said two or three weeks, something like that, and they haven't had any more occurrences uh, of the check engine light coming on. So fingers crossed for them, it seems to be working out okay. Um, for me, it's been, like I said, about two weeks 
about the same as them and my check engine light and fingers crossed still uh, has not come back on again am I confident that it isn't going to come back on again absolutely not I fully expect it to come on again um, you know a little while back we took a trip to Colorado and before we left the check engine light had come on and we put a code reader on it that's how we came up with the cylinder misfire and then we erased it got rid of the code you know turned the light off all the good stuff and then drove to Colorado drove around in Colorado very little we didn't drive a lot while we were there and then uh, drove back to uh, Texas and it wasn't until about a week after that 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 check engine light came on again and I must say um, I didn't even have the auto stop failure light uh, on our trip so it's kind of odd to me you know maybe the system has to sit for a while go dormant if you will uh, if that makes any sense and then when it comes back up you know when you jolt it with the well the push button the start uh, it somehow causes a conflict. I do believe there is a conflict uh, between uh, the auto stop system and the check engine failure light, and that somehow that conflict causes that engine misfire. I think there's something in the software code uh, that was written for the program in the Gladiator that is indeed causing that problem. Who knows? I'm not a I'm not a software programmer or anything, so. You know, I guess I can't uh, say for sure, but it certainly jives or makes sense to me logically that since I seem to get the two at the same time, at least when the check engine light comes on, that they are somehow related. I don't know. So anyway, that is my current update about two weeks uh, going on three, I guess, after my visit to the dealership. Uh, right now, driving around, as you saw, there are no lights on on my screen, but there was earlier this morning. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're at, if this is happening to you in your ongoing uh, Jeep light or air light or trouble light or whatever you want to call it, saga. Have you found a good fix that works for you? I've heard everything from you know the software upgrade auxiliary battery replacement to complete engine replacement and that to me seems kind of extreme almost thinks uh, or makes me think like there was something more wrong with uh, those jeeps that they go ahead and replace a whole engine uh, for something like a, a light or software issue that just keeps popping up on the screen but nonetheless I've been told it's been done so I'd be curious, and for those of you that have had the engine replacement, have you had the same problem again? Because if you have, they got a big problem. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.